Texas to Louis Up the street you how to have some fun with butter. I'm going to go through Bourmonté and Beurre Blanc, two very simple and easy to make sauces that can make just dinner at home a little bit more special and it looks like a huge deal when all we're going to be making is either butter and water or butter and wine. Let's just stick around. I don't remember the glory days in 69 Seeing all the skinheads standing in the line Most wears the swaggers, you're gonna die But we are here, we're still alive We've got power, style and pride So the first thing you're going to want to get is you're going to, want to start with about three quarters of a cup to a cup of water. We're going to make a little water reduction in the pan. We're going to let this go till it starts to simmer. So we've got our water starting to boil. It's reduced down quite a bit. We're going to start by getting our whisk moving in the water. And we're going to add just a few cubes of butter. It has to be cold butter at a time. And then you actually get, this is going to be very intensive when you get started. You're just going to want to keep this moving. You want to keep it warm, but you don't need it to be super hot. Because what we're going to be trying to do is emulsify the butter in the water. We actually want to mix together the fats and the water. We don't want them to be separate. Because what we're going to end up actually doing is making a somewhat thick, somewhat thick-ish sauce out of just butter and water. You just want to, after you get your first few cubes in, just throw in a few at a time, and you just have to keep this moving. This is the voice of the street. This is the voice of the street. This is the voice of the street. Now that we've gotten all of our butter in, you can see it's got like a nice color to it. It's just one uniform thing. And what this will do is, if you want to use this to say top vegetables, you can throw some herbs or spices into this. It'll coat a little bit better and it'll hold up a little bit better at heat. It won't break as easily. You can also use this to thicken and enrich sauces. And instead of just adding straight butter or clarified, you've got something that's a little bit thicker and a little bit more temperature resistant, so it won't come out as greasy and oily looking on your plate afterwards. Also brings down a little bit of flavor from the butter. I believe it was like a heaven being Britain in 77. Hey, so we're going to make us a little bit of Beurre Blanc, which is a wonderful sauce to put on top of fish certain green vegetables, and chicken. What I'm going to start with is about a quarter of a cup of white vinegar, and then we're going to do about three quarters of a cup of white wine. And the first thing we're going to want to do is get this into a hot pan on the stove, and we're going to want to reduce this down to just a few tablespoons worth of liquid. Now, one thing you can always do with Beurre Blanc is to add a little extra flavor, especially if you're serving it on top of a protein, is you want to add a little bit of fresh herbs to it. You need, this is the time you want to do it. Now, I had this a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one mixture of thyme, rosemary, and parsley, which is going to give this a wonderful flavor. And as this reduces down, it's going to get nice and thick throughout. Why you ready, boys? Now, 
Saint Beurre Blanc calls for the addition of shallots in the pan while you're reducing down your white wine and vinegar. I tend to not have shallots around the house right this moment, so I'm actually substituting a little bit of roasted garlic, which most definitely will be giving a different flavor, but depending on your tastes, can be used. One thing that's especially important when you're doing either a Bermontaine or a Beurre Blanc is you want to control the temperature. Don't be afraid to take your pan and move it off of the heat. Just keep it a little bit warm. You're going to want to keep, when you're adding the butter, at about 136 degrees Fahrenheit so you don't separate the butter. You want this to emulsify and make a consistent mixture. down our white wine and vinegar to a much smaller amount than we had to begin with. So we're going to start with just a few cubes of our cold butter and we're going to start wanting to mix and emulsify this with our sauce in the pan. You just want to add a few pieces of butter at a time until you get your emulsion going. At this point you also want to calm down the heat, maybe turn it down a little bit and start controlling the pan and getting it off of the heat. But you don't want to overcook it, you don't want to separate your butter. Stop it. Our butter in, we can remove from heat, and while you're cooking another dish, one thing you can do is keep this in a bowl and keep it on your stove so it'll be near heat. You, want it all, you don't want it to be hot because you don't want to break the sauce or the butter. But what you can do is if you keep it at about 100 to 120 degrees, it'll hold nicely until it's time to top whatever dish you're putting it onto. Street. This is the voice of the street.